Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. This is the third chapter in our customer support management course. Today, we will be discussing warranty claims. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand what warranty claims are, know how to add warranty details in an item, know how to track the status of warranty claims. First, let's get a bit of an insight into warranties and warranty claims. A warranty is a promise by the seller to replace or repair the product if it does not meet the specified performance. This is valid for only a specified period of time during which the seller or manufacturer is liable to repair or replace the product. A warranty claim is a claim made by a customer for the repair or replacement of their product within the warranty period. Many sellers or manufacturers also offer extensions to their warranty periods that assure repair or replacement of the product using the extension time as well. Additionally, a customer and seller may enter into an annual maintenance contract AMC which will assure regular maintenance for seamless processing of warranties and claims. The seller will need to maintain relevant data like date of purchase, warranty period, warranty expiry date and more. Let's see how you can manage the warranty in ERP next. Let's see how we can add a warranty period in the item master. From home, navigate to the stock module and then click on item under items and pricing. In item, we can add the warranty period details in the warranty period field under the inventory section. For all the items with serial numbers, ERP Next will automatically track the warranty expiry details based on the warranty period details in the item and the delivery note date. Let's create a purchase receipt for an item with serial number so that the serial number is created. We can see that the warranty period field is auto-updated. Next, let's create a delivery note for the same. We can see that the warranty expiry date is automatically calculated and captured in the warranty expiry date field of the serial number. If a customer purchases an annual maintenance contract, we can add the expiry date of the AMC as well. Let's now see how we can create a warranty claim in the system. A customer makes a warranty claim within the warranty period for repair or replacement of their product. We can find the warranty claim list in the support module under the warranty section. Here, we can see all warranty claims made for items by various customers and we can create a new warranty claim by clicking on Add Warranty Claim. First, we will need to select the customer who has made this claim. Then, click on Serial Number field and you can see the serial numbers of items which have been delivered to this customer. Select the serial number of the item with which the customer is facing the issue. The item and warranty details are automatically fetched. You can see the warranty or AMC status, warranty expiry date and AMC expiry date details. Next. We can add the description of the issue reported by the customer and save. 
the status of the warranty claim is set to open. We can assign the warranty claim to a service engineer to attend the issue. The service engineer can create a maintenance visit from this warranty claim to capture the details of repair activity performed. In the meantime, the status can be set to work in progress. If the repair is successful or if a replacement is issued, we can capture the details in the resolution section and update the status to closed. If the warranty period has expired or if the warranty is not applicable due to physical damage or any other reason, the status can be changed to cancelled. Lastly, we have the customer details and more information section. The customer details section shows all contact information for the customer selected. It is automatically pulled in from the customer doc type. We have the option to capture the service address if it is different from the address available in the system. The more information section shows fields where we can see who raised the issue and to what company they belong. This brings us to the end of the third chapter in our customer support management course. I hope this helped you understand what warranty claims are and how to process them in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss maintenance management. Thank you.